welcome to the main show here you see me spinning the shaft here what I'm doing here is indicating the shaft at the tailstock now what I'm looking for is TIR TIR starts for total indicator runout now the if the in the, the center that's on that shaft it runs out you have to shim the, the center all right and by shimming the center you will uh, make sure that it's running true so you want your TIR to be zero so here we have it going to the front of it now I had to indicate the front of the shaft which is the headstock and basically here I'm doing the same thing I just did at the tailstock I'm indicating it to zero as you see here bring the indicator to the shaft then you will spin it once you indicate the shaft to zero you set your DRO your digital readout to zero then you want to touch off on the horizontal uh, side of the shaft not the top of it where you indicate it but on the side of it zero it and then walk the, the carriage all the way back to the tailstock and you need to do the same thing at the exact same dimension as the headstock that's why we zero our DRO now what you see me here I'm going to touch it exactly the same spot at the same OD dimension and take a look at the center you'll see the shim that has been shimmed all right here we're looking at the DRO you used to see we're off by 31,000 and then we need to move our cross slide to zero on the DRO and then whatever showing on the indicator tells you what your offset is so the shaft is not straight you see here I'm going back down to zero seeing as the headstock remember we zero it up from the headstock now here's zero now let's take a look at the indicator and this will tell us what the taper is and you can see here it's off by 3000 so basically what we do is divide that by two and that will leave us one and a half that we need to adjust the tail start so here you see I have the Allen wrench in the tail stock adjustment screw I'm going to go counterclockwise until the indicator reads one and a half making it zero and there you see it's zero now we have to go back to the front of the chuck and verify that it still remains at zero on the DRO this was if it remains zero zero from the tail stock to the head stock then you have a cheap straightness the part is straight and you will be able to cut it turn it and it will not give you any taper all right I know this sounds a little bit complicated but it's gonna take you a little while you just rewind the tape and follow the steps again all right take a look at all the steps All right, here you see me, I'm gonna take a cut. And what I'm doing here is something called a crown. The crown is where the two edges are smaller diameter than the center. The center is larger than the two edges. And this has a 7,000 crown. So that means it's 7,000 larger in the center than the both edge so this is why we need to have this perfectly straight before we even start cutting all right you can see how nice and smooth everything's working out and um we're using here a sharp 60 degree cutter tool bit that's custom made 
and uh, here's a good shot of it and it's carbide chip all right thank you for watching and please be sure to hit that like button and ask me questions in the comment section below all right thank you so much Well, right here you see, I'm cutting this shaft. It goes to an auger. Auger is about 29 inches long. This shaft is 4 feet long. And you can see here, it's cutting reverse, going towards the tailstock. Now, this is done this way, because it is a 1 inch diameter. And to avoid any vibrations or chatter marks on the length, because it's so long, it's best to do it in reverse as you see here now this has been cut two parts first part is chuck in the chuck and this is the second part which uh, you'll have the shoulder right there where you see the blue band uh, dicum so right here is cutting 17 4 stainless steel so you can see right here how the chip is nicely coming out this is the finished part of it. Question in the comment section below. Alright, thank you so much.